Hello everyone. This is one of those lawnmowers you find on the side of the road where the homeowner is just, they went out and bought another one. And it's usually missing parts. They probably tinkered with it a little bit and screwed it up. Uh, what I did was the, just I got right off the bat, it's missing the cover. I've got to order one of these. This cable didn't work. It had been out in the rain for quite a while. Uh, the lawnmower blade was upside down. Instead of having the fins up, they were pointed down, so it was literally pushing the grass down as it cut. So it must have been a horrific cut when it did run. Um, but what I'd like to talk today about is cleaning one of these plastic carburetors. I'm going to show you how to take it off, how to clean it properly, and there are two types. There's one with a spring on it, and that has an automatic choke and this one has something like this. You should never be intimidated about tearing one of these things apart. Uh, on the internet they run between $8 and $16 for a brand new carburetor. Okay, And usually the carburetor is all that's ever the problem with these things. Let me show you how to clean one of these. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the uh, blower housing off of the top of this. It's 3.8 millimeters. And there's not a lot to these little lawnmowers and everybody's throwing them out. And once you figure out how to fix them, unless the deck is uh, all rotted out, you really shouldn't have too much trouble getting them started again. Just set that aside. So the screws don't fall out. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pinch off, if you can see here, the gas line. Just get yourself one of these small little vice grips. You don't want to get it too tight so that it damages the, the hose. But the first thing I like to do is grab that clamp. Pull it to the side like that. And then taking your vice grips, pinch off that hose. I guess it needs to be a little bit tighter. Just like so. Okay. Uh, I think that's a 7 and that's an 8. I think that's an 8 too. So I've got three screws on this. I think it's missing one here. So right here I got a seven and two eights. Let's remove those. Now in this video I'm just showing you how to clean your uh, your carburetor. But I like to clean my gas tank also when I'm uh, getting something like this because I don't know what they put in it. I don't know if there's a lot of water in it. Jump from the gas tank bogging up my jets. This primer box just pops off of this hose. That's the only thing connecting it. And that hole right there where the gasket is, that's where the primer bowl forces the fuel out of the bowl of the carburetor into the uh, engine. Next we got to remove that fuel line. Now that I've got the clamp off and the hose clamped, I just take a screwdriver Sometimes a pair of pliers, depending how it comes off. You can lift this gas tank off now, by the way. It just slides right up, like so. And then we can switch it. Just like that. See the fuel line? I got a pinch. It just slides on. 
this little mount right here just slides straight down like that. Okay. Simple enough. We'll set that down on the floor. All right. Now the carburetor simply pulls forward. There's no uh, bolts or anything holding this. The linkage is uh, right here, just like so. Set that down. And on the back, if this doesn't come with it, there's a white plastic ring and an O-ring that fits over this tube right here. That is what we're going to rebuild. To clean one of these little carburetors is super simple. First thing I do is using a hex bit, 10 millimeter, I remove the bottom nut and that allows the fuel to pour out. Okay. Then it has two 7 millimeter bolts holding the bowl lock. I'll show you that in a second. So if your lawnmower is not running or not running well, I would not be hesitant to try to do this, guys. It's very simple. And uh, if you screw up, like I said, just buy a new carburetor. There's not a lot to these. I like to use a glass jar so when I pull the fuel out of the bowl, I can see if there's debris. Like right now, I got some debris in here. And the other thing is I like to see if there's a water bubble on the bottom. That will allow the engine to run, the engine to run for a little bit and then it'll shut off. And then you'll start up again and it'll run for a little bit. That's because fuel's getting through it and then water will get in and, and kill it. Um, so this is a diagnostic tool also. So we've removed the two 7mm bolts. And now we're going to take a screwdriver and just pop this apart. There's an O-ring that's rather tight right here that uh, makes it kind of difficult, but this one came off pretty easy. Okay. Looks good. This is our float. It works just like a toilet. Okay, we want to make sure that it moves pretty, pretty easily. And this is our hinge pin right here. And if we take our screwdriver, you just pop the hinge pin straight up once you remove your float, your needle right here, and your hinge pin, we are left with what they call the cartridge, and that holds our jets for our, uh, our fuel. And that's nine times out of ten where our problem is. So, simple enough, take a small flathead screwdriver, and right here, you want to press it in. Let me put my glasses on while I'm doing this and press it in between the black housing and the white cartridge and it should pop right out just like so okay these are all of our jets now if you don't have compressed air you can always purchase it in a can they use it for like cleaning your keypad your keypad on your computer but what we're going to do is we're going to take our flathead screwdriver again and we're going to pry it in right here. Okay? See what I did? I just separated it right there. Be gentle. And now, there we go. Pull it apart. So we end up with this. Let's hit it with some air and see where we're at.
Okay, if you can see, this is our main jet right here. And there are some holes. There's three on this side, three on this side, and one straight down. Okay. This is our main jet right here. And there's a small little hole right there. What I like to use is a bread tie. And I just peel back the paper. And I'm trying real careful not to elongate or make these holes any bigger than they already are. But this is again the main jet right here. And so we're going to pop this bread tie in. These three holes I'm going to make sure that we're clear on this side. Clear on this side. And then I'm going to make sure that we're clear down the center. Okay? This looks good. Now what I'm going to do is take some carburetor cleaner and shoot it up these holes and up this and just make sure that no little debris that I haven't seen uh, gets washed out. Now if you have rubber gloves it's a good idea to use them. And wear eyeglasses so that uh, if it sprays in your eyes you won't have a trouble. jet right there. Okay. Now I want to reassemble this. You really can't go wrong with this. It only goes on one way. So slide this back on top. And then very carefully so you don't catch your fingers. Line her up push down. There you go. Did you hear that snapping? Okay, so again, I'm going to uh, do it one more time. I'm going to shoot some carburetor cleaner down the center of this, down this hole, and through this jet. Let's see what we got. Put your glasses back on. Well, that wasn't that hard, and all of the uh, jets are definitely clean now. So, to reassemble this, it can only go in one way. Um, this little uh, black O-ring goes into a hole recess right in this side, and there's a, a wide spot for two. So it would go like this, and you just push it in and press it down. Just like so. That's all there is to it. I'm going to try this trick one more time, see if I can get it down a little bit further. Okay. That's good. And then we're going to take our needle right here, which has definitely seen better days. Let's hit that with a cleaner. that just slides in. Can you see that little tab right there? That just slides in right here like so. Okay. 
and I take my pin, slide it in like so, and that goes in just like this. You just simply push it back in. Make sure that it slides left and right. Make sure the float operates. And pop this in like so. And like so. With the seat open, see it drops out the bottom. Very good. The next thing we're going to do is put this back on. Get this with a little bit of carb cleaner. And if you'll notice, there's an L right here. That's to go over this little uh, pickup tube right here. So There's an O-ring around this too, let me mention that. And sometimes it's very difficult to put this in here without getting it all bent up. And what I like to do is take a bit of oil. I just put my finger in it, just on the tip, and I go around that O-ring and it makes it a whole lot easier to put this together. Like a soap. Okay, again, that L right there goes over the main pickup. Nice. Just like that, guys. See that? I take my 10 millimeter. I put it right here. Line it up. Push down. Just like so. Two 7 millimeters. Go back in this, and I have a clean carburetor. Let's put this thing back together and see how it runs. Now to make sure the needle and seat are operating properly, when it's down, you should get some air going through it. You flip it upside down, now that needle should be sealing up against the seat and no air should go through it. And I have no air going through it. So I know that that's operating proper. Let's put it back on the lawnmower and see how she runs. Now to install this carburetor is very simple. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put the linkage in the hole like that. Now make sure you have your O-ring in here and your white retainer, right? And that's going to slide over this nipple right here. So let's just do that. Just goes in like that. Carburetor is installed. Okay. Next we're going to install the gas tank, and if you hadn't been able to see it very clearly, here's the fuel hose, the fuel line. These are those clamps that you just grab a hold of with a pair of pliers, and you pinch them, and they open up. 
and that goes on this fuel inlet right here. Okay, and again, these and these two plastic uh, wedges just slide down over this metal right here and hold the gas tank in place. So let's take care of this right now. Put the fuel line on that nipple. Okay. Grab wires. That's all there is to securing the fuel line. Put this back up on it, like so. install our starter motor housing up here. Again, these are three eight millimeters. Yeah, three eight millimeters. I highly suggest you look around on the side of the roads where they're uh, throwing these lawnmowers out. And just for practice, take the engines apart, see how the starter recoil works, see how the uh, timing works on these. Take the engine completely apart and see how the parts interact with each other. It's the best way to learn how to work on these. Trial and error, take them apart. Don't be afraid. and. Worst comes to worst, you just put it out on the curb and let the uh, garbage man take it also. But you're going to learn something, and it doesn't require a lot of tooling. All right. Now we're going to put the primer box back on, and that just goes on that little hose again, right here. And again, two eighths and a seven. And I'm missing that bolt there. And like I said also, you got to kind of be prepared that uh, it's not going to have all the parts because somebody's <laughs> guaranteed to have played with it. back in and since I don't have the cover for this quite yet let's put it on the ground and see how it, how she runs all right the moment of truth gotta prime it road find. I'll catch you on the next one.